In this video, I'm going to talk about the different types of access control readers available on the market today. There are several options available and it can sometimes be hard to make a decision on which type of reader is the best for your needs. Listen until the end for one that will make you feel like you're in a sci-fi movie. Hi, I'm Jorge Ramirez with Safe and Sound Security, the place where professionals turn for security system information and solutions. Today, we're going to talk about access control readers. With all the options out there, how do you decide which one is best for business? You may need a different type of reader for your exterior entrances than your interior doors. Maybe you just want to control access to one specific room. The good thing is that we have you covered. There is literally an access control for every type of secured entrance. If you're looking to secure your space with more than just a key lock and deadbolt and want to know what options are available, keep watching. When you're looking to secure your premises, sometimes a lock and key just isn't enough. You need something that gives you more control over who can enter and when. That's where access control readers come in. They are like a digital lock for any door you want to secure, giving you control of who enters a door and more importantly, who does not. While benefits of access control readers are clear, sometimes it can be difficult choosing the type of reader or different types of readers you want to use. If you're considering installing an access control reader for your business, there are many things to consider. What are your security needs? What types of access control are you looking for? Who needs access to your premises and when? Are there areas of your business that require a higher level of security? Do you want to manage physical key cards or use something that does not require the person entering to carry anything on them? Also, you'll have to think about how adding additional security controls to an area might impact the day-to-day -day flow through the space. High traffic areas won't be as efficiently protected by the same access control reader that guards less frequently accessed parts of your facilities. With that in mind, let's look at the most common types of access control readers. Key card readers, keypad readers, two-factor authentication readers, and biometric fingerprint readers. While each of these access control reader types has its own benefit, the backend functions basically the same. The end user presents their key to the door. They are granted access or not according to the pre-programmed rules. They also log a history of which users have attempted access and have been granted access or denied, which can be downloaded by a companion system that's also used to update the programming on the device itself. We've got lots to cover, so let's dive in. There are two types of key card readers, magnetic strip key card readers and proximity card readers. Magnetic strip key cards are a lot like when you swipe your credit card. You swipe them through a narrow slot in a physical reader. Proximity key cards use an RFID signal from a close distance to communicate with the proximity card reader. Think of it like the tap option on credit cards. In the past few years with the rise of mobile phone use, some of the newer proximity card readers can be programmed to an end user's mobile phone. So instead of needing to carry a separate access card or fob, one would simply hold their mobile phone up to the proximity card reader for access. If you decide you want to use key card readers for access control, you need to consider whether to install wireless or wired key card readers. Standalone wireless key card readers are convenient for small scale implementation. Wireless access card readers are best for use in situations that would make wiring your key card readers prohibitive, like preserving historical architecture. One of the best benefits of a wireless reader is because they are usually battery powered, you can put them anywhere. A key disadvantage is that you are only able to make changes to the software or access rules. You'll have to make them directly at the reader. Wired key card readers are connected directly to a central control panel or door controller. This allows you to update your security patterns, make changes to the approved whitelist, or lock down the site in real time. Wired readers also have the advantage of a constant power supply. The next type of reader is a keypad reader. You're probably familiar with the basics of a keypad reader. It's a keypad you enter a personal code into to unlock a door or gain access to something that is secured. The same basic differences between wired or wireless systems apply to keypad readers as to key card readers, but there's something more to consider. Which is more secure? The short answer is neither. They pretty much break even. Access control pins and key cards are only as secure as the people they're given to. A key card reader can be pickpocketed or copied with the right hardware, and you can be observed entering a pin or coerced into giving it up, and either can simply be given out by the person holding them. 
Both are only useful if you remember them. Leave your card at home or forget your PIN and you're locked out. Using two access control protocols together, known as a two-factor authentication system, is significantly more secure than using either option alone. For example, requiring someone to use a physical key card and a PIN on a keypad to access a physical space. While you can theoretically wire two separate readers to each access point, there are many access control readers that support two-factor authentication. This theoretically doubles security measures without doubling the amount of work. But if cards can be stolen and pins can be learned, is there an authenticator with access credentials that can't be spoofed? Enter biometrics, literally the measuring of the living. Biometric readers or fingerprint readers require a user's fingerprint scan to gain access. Fingerprints are quite distinctive and fingerprint readers are a proven technology for biometric access control. They're a little more expensive than key card and keypad readers, but if security is your top concern and your business needs the best, biometric fingerprint readers are the safest option. Pairing them with key card or keypad readers for two or three factor authentication is safer still. At the end of the day, when planning security at your business, there are many options. Access control readers are a safe and secure way to instantly upgrade the physical security for your business. Let safe and sound security help you choose an access control reader. We're the best around when it comes to planning and installing access control systems, and we fully guarantee all of our work for ongoing maintenance and upkeep. Give us a call today for a site audit and a no obligation quote. Also, if you'd like to browse some of our written content or have another security project you'd like to talk to us about, head over to GetSavingSound.com. And now, I'd like to turn it over to you. Do you have any comments or questions about access control readers? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now.